Grace and peace to all the beloved brethren. I'm convinced that there's only one gospel into salvation, and I pray that you are too. Hello everyone, and welcome to Belief is All. Thank you for all your prayers and support during my week-long break. All glory to the King of Kings for rejuvenation and the fellowship of the brethren. Let's get into another retarded gotcha you will face when you preach and walk in grace. Stick around till the end of the video to find out how you can debunk the claim and continue your walk with full assurance. Even demons believe and tremble. Another statement that appears like clockwork, nauseatingly implemented by goat bastards who want to trample grace underfoot. But is it in full context? Similar to the other popular blur by no faithers, judge not, we need to get to the entire verse in order to see the big picture. The full verse says, Thou believest there is only one God? Thou doest well. The demons also believe and tremble. Uh-oh, free grace bros. It looks like we're cooked. It's time to pack it all up. David Benjamin has tabled us, and Apollo is straight. Now, before I deactivate and utter shame, let me see where this damning verse is located. No, 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 look at this one! It looks like Bobby from... Never mind, brethren! Free grace is still up! Get up! Get out right now and ring it in! David Benjamin is in shambles and Mapalo is get Okay, okay, enough jokes. Look, we've already covered the proper application of James in the last two videos, so watch those for more information. Links are in the description if you're curious. But to be brief, a work-trusting heretic has no argument with the book of James because they don't understand to whom and why the word was written. They cannot properly differentiate between no faith, unprofitable faith, and profitable faith. It's a twisting of the word akin to what Satan did in Matthew chapter 4. It's not a loving correction from a fellow believer. It's twisting the truth to create error in order to condemn. Let them be accursed. Now that alone is grounds enough to shut them down in the name of Jesus, but there's an even more biting detail that takes the accuser from a generally misinformed member of churchianity to a full-on ignoramus who will be forced to either take back his assertion or make him double down on how hellbound he is. And that's the fact that Jesus didn't come to redeem demons. He came to redeem mankind, to justify us from the curse of the law that every human being on earth is under. It says in Matthew chapter 25, in verse 41 then shall the king say to those who will be on the left hand depart from me ye cursed into everlasting fire which is prepared for the devil and his angels see hell was originally prepared for satan and the angels that rebelled against god it just so happens that those of no faith other faith and fake faith will be there with them when they're judged so again they have no argument Hear me, brethren, this is what you need to say to them. And if you're on this video and you think even demons believe, listen to this. You are not my brethren. You are not of my fellowship. You are not saved. You do not believe in the true gospel. Therefore, you can't tell me anything about the nature of belief. On top of that, you project your destiny onto me, making me like unto a demon when you're the one who is in the hot seat. Look again at Matthew 24 and 41. Who is being told to go into the pit with the devil and his angels? The cursed. Who are the cursed? Those under the law. Those of no faith, other faith, and you. Ye unsaved goat bastards that would rather offer filthy rags and affiliation to God rather than to be truly born again, resting in the grace of God. Repent. Change your mind. Believe in the gospel and the salvation that Jesus came died and rose again as propitiation for your sins all you need to do is believe in who jesus is and what he did if you believe this today leave a comment so that we can give all glory to god welcome to the fellowship i've got a playlist in the description that will help you on your walk but for those still preparing your essays in the comment section you waste your time no longer does the satanic retarded gotcha have any hold here in jesus name amen Demons are not the same thing as mankind, or at least not as mankind lives and breathes. But rest assured, if you watch this refutation and continue in your fake gospels or lack thereof only to fool around and die, you'll be the one in the soup cooking like an unrepentant crawfish in a fiery sulfuric rolling bowl. I'm convinced there's only one gospel into salvation, and I pray that after this you are too. To my beloved brethren, grace and peace. God bless.